Welcome to the CKA series part 27, in this video we will cover a cluster upgradation question. 27th question is, given an existing Kubernetes cluster running version 1.26.0, you have to upgrade the master node and worker node to version 1.27.0. Be sure to drain the master and worker node before upgrading it, and uncoordinate after the upgrade, the weightage of this question is 12%. Before going to cluster, you have to go through the documentation part. Search for upgrade. Here you can see different cluster version upgradation documents and choose the proper one. Here you can see the detailed documentation for the cluster upgradation. You can see Debian and Red Hat based cluster upgradation commands here but in the exam your cluster will be based on Debian. You have to practice this question very well before your exam, because it is a must-asking question in the exam with high weightage marks. I'm recommending to make a cluster in your laptop and practice well, I will share the link in the description for making a cluster in your laptop. Without further delay let's kick start. Okay. We have a cluster with version 1.26, according to the question, we have to upgrade the master and worker nodes to version 1.27. Let's drain the control plane first. Ok, control plane is drained and become unschedulable, next we need to get into the control plane machine through ssh command. Now we are in the control plane machine, in the exam, you can get into the machine without passing a password. Let's unhold cube adm package. Ok, we need root permission to do that. So we can use sudo dash i command in order to get root privilege. Now we got the root privilege. Let's update the OS first. Next we have to install Cube ADM version 1.27. Cube ADM installed. Let's hold the cube ADM package, holding cube ADM means that once a package is marked as hold, then it will not be automatically updated or removed by the package manager. This is not a mandatory command from the exam point of view. Let's upgrade the cube ADM to the new version. Please note, this may take more than 5 minutes so please wait patiently. Done, we have successfully upgraded, 
we can see a success message on the screen also. If you read the message then we can see a recommendation from the Cube ADM for upgrading the Cubelet service. Let's install the Cubelet version 1.27. OK. Let's restart the Cubelet service. Now we have to exit from the control plane machine, so you have to run the exit command two times. Now we return to the first machine. Yes we can see our control plane upgraded to version 1.27, but still it is unschedulable, let's change that. Perfect. Next, we need to upgrade the worker node, so first we need to drain the node 01. OK, let's SSH to the node machine. Now we are in the node machine, let's run the sudo -i command for getting root privilege. Let's update the OS first. OK next we have to install Cube ADM version 1.27. OK, next we have to upgrade the Cube ADM to 1.27 version. Done, next we have to install Cubelet 1.27 version. Let's restart the Cubelet service. OK, run the exit command two times for exit from the node machine. Now we have successfully upgraded Cube ADM and Cubelet on control plane and worker node. Yes, we can see both nodes are upgraded to version 1.27, but the worker node is still unschedulable. Let's uncordon the worker node.
Congratulations, we have successfully completed this task, this is must asking question, so you have to practice this well. For practicing this question, I'm recommending to making a master and worker node in your laptop using VirtualBox. As you see in my laptop, my worker node have 2 core and 2 GB RAM and my master node have the same configuration, so if you have at least i5 machine, you can make a cluster in your laptop. Detailed video I post on this YouTube channel, I will share the links in description. Or you can go to YouTube and search the keyword, Kubernetes bare metal cluster on Ubuntu, then you will get the video. This is the video, in this video I will explain, how to create one master and one node cluster on your laptop. You can find a GitHub link here, so all commands for making this cluster will be available there. And also I'm recommending to go through the official documentation to upgrade the cluster. If you have a cluster on your laptop, then you can easily practice these questions, because this is the most weighted question in the exam. Thank you for watching this video, if you felt this video is helpful then please do like and subscribe.